So to effectively develop and produce a hydrocarbon accumulation, the company has to continually keep track of what you might say is where the remaining oil is located. So the best way to keep track of where the remaining reserves are is first to determine original oil in place, and then from that number subtract how much production over time has come from each of the oil bearing intervals. And the difference between those two numbers is where the remaining oil is located in each zone. So using that information, an operator can make better decisions on the placement of new wells, the stacking of laterals in a given area, and the timing of refracts of existing wells. So I would say, uh, think of it this way. Hydraulically fractured wells typically produce oil from more than one horizon. So in other words, induced fractures cause production from several horizons to be commingled into a single uh, production stream in a given well. And in such wells, it's critical to keep track of how much of the production is coming from each interval so that the operator can keep track of where the remaining oil is located. And that's where time-lapse geochemistry, or sometimes called PLG, comes in. The geochemical fingerprint of oil in each of the zones that are being commingled is unique. Each zone has a different uh, composition. So therefore, the geochemical makeup of a commingled sample can be used to determine how much of the commingled oil came from each of the several horizons that could be contributing. And from that information, we then know where the remaining oil is located. So stratum reservoir geochemists are actually the ones that pioneered the methodology for geochemical allocation of commingled production, originally applied to conventional reservoirs more than 20 years ago, and then later expanded that to include thousands of unconventional wells in a variety of different basins.